tell you, I have never been bitten by the sailing bug. And Charlie's dad has always tried to persuade us to come sailing with him. But when we were invited to land sail in the British Virgin Islands, I thought, you know, why not push ourselves? Give it a whirl. So, John, this is for you. It's all Charlie's clothes. Look at this up here. Wow. Have you got your sea legs, Fred? Ready to go sailing, guys? You ready to go sailing? Yeah. yeah. Okay, let's do it. The BVI is one of the least developed areas of the Caribbean, but for what it lacks in glitz, it makes up for in unspoiled natural beauty. The Azure waters are home to over 40 islands, each with a unique charm. To truly explore the island chain, the only way to get around is on a boat. Okay, Philippa, so we're here currently in uh, Eustatia Sound. But what we'll do is we'll just head out of here and we'll try a few different points of sail here. What's a point of sale? It's a, see, me with my retail therapy experience, and I'm thinking something completely different. Okay, the point is uh, in terms of what direction the wind is in relation to the boat. Yeah, you see, that was completely different to what I was thinking. <laughs> okay, where do you start? Then? Where are we going to start is we're going to get the anchor up, and uh, then we're going to talk to putting the mainsail up. <laughs> I just don't get. Why is it more fun to do it by hand and not with the electric winch? <laughs> you can't get. Hey, man, I can't get my grip. <laughs> you could put your back into it a tiny bit more. <laughs> if a woman is flapping, she needs some attention and help. That's just the same as I said. Yeah, I'm beginning to get this now, you see. <laughs> Again. Yeah. What are they doing now? They're going in all over the place a bit. I don't know now you what. see that front sail now starting to flap a little yeah. bit? It means you've gone a little bit too close. I'm aware I'm doing something wrong. So I'm not... Turn to the right a little bit and we'll get that sail filling again. <laughs> Good job. See, the thing is, it's just by accident because I still don't understand what I'm doing. So look at this, one of the joys of sailing. Your classic. Caribbean beach, palm trees, white sand, no hotels because you can't get here unless you get here by boat. Of course, if sailing really isn't for you, then there is another option. This. Not so much heat, you know. Honestly, say sailing is better. You'll be relieved to know. <laughs> I'm delighted to hear it, but I knew it would. I was seduced by the environmentally friendly bit, but then it's the silence, I think, and the fact that you have to know the wind and the water so well if you want to get where you want to go. Exactly. And here, where you want to go, it's just this myriad of amazing coves and secret hideaways and beaches that no one else is on and. Places you never dreamed existed. Not at all. It's just and the cocktails aren't bad either. They are very good. Captain Cheers. Cocktail. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> well, Michael, you get all the best jobs, don't you? Learning not to spill your drink on a boat is quite tricky, you know. I noticed there was a bar on board, though. <laughs> Captain Cocktail was on board. <laughs> It looked like terrific fun. It was absolutely fantastic. Absolutely fantastic for all of us. What was it like then, having the children on board? Were there any safety issues? Did you worry I was a about bit, that? I, before we went, I was a bit worried. And I packed the life jackets, and they take up a lot of room. Mm. You know, that I had to sacrifice clothes for those life jackets. Because <laughs> it must be very important, your children. <laughs> but I was worried, and I was also worried about, it's a small space, it's like a glamorous caravan in the sense, mm. you know, it's a small space and there are two children here that love running around. But they've got, you know, exercise in the sea, exercise on the beach. We went to the beach every day still. And we were always, one adult with one child, always on the deck with them and they had their life jackets on whenever we were on the move. And they, and they seemed intrigued fine. by what was going on. They loved it. They had the best time. 
and they slept so well yeah. every night. <laughs> oh, good for mums and dads. Oh, it's just brilliant. Yeah. How did you get on with the sailing? The sailing part, I, I was grasping as best I could. But it was a bit of, you know, Mark saying, a Captain Cocktail saying, pull the rope quick, and I would pull it mm. and um, press that button and steer that way. And steering, I just couldn't get that. I the whole thing's quite technical, it. isn't it? The whole process. Every time you went off indoors and left me with this, we just lost the wind. We've been drifting aimlessly around the Caribbean. Do you feel as though you did actually grasp something I, by the a end? A few bits and bobs. That's you up that's some it. more. I would like to learn some more. Actually, I'd like to learn really where you get your power from and how you steer. Well, basics, I suppose. Well, we've got Emma Richards, round the world yachtswoman. Right. She's going to teach you to sell a laser. What is a laser? A laser is a dinghy. Is there right. a bar There's on not board? not a bar on board, <laughs> but we promise you a glass of champagne at the end. Okay. Okay. I'm up for it. Brilliant. I'm Thank you it. very much, Philippa.